This baby girl and her two brothers, barely old enough to walk, now have no father. Mohammed Takir was a young police officer from Pakistan's Punjab province, earning $150 a month. He saved and borrowed $8,000 from family and friends to pay a trafficker to smuggle him into Europe. On Sunday, he drowned along with dozens of other migrants after a sailboat carrying them capsized off the coast of southern Italy. My two brothers set off for Italy. The younger one luckily arrived two months ago, but the elder one sailed the last week and drowned. It has devastated the entire family, including his two young sons and his two-month-old daughter. Their father was one of up to 40,000 Pakistanis who attempt to reach Europe every year. They follow well-traveled and often deadly human trafficking routes through Turkey and Iran. In the Gujarat district, dubbed Mini Norway by local people, the lure of Europe and its perceived wealth can be seen in these villas. Hasnain Arif left home hoping he would be the one to lift the family's fortunes. My grandson was very ambitious to travel to Europe to earn money so he can support his family. Unfortunately, he died and it has shattered the whole family. Now we're anxiously awaiting to receive his body. Since 2014, the UN Missing Migrants Project says more than 17,000 people have died in the central Mediterranean. We are facing a huge problem with human trafficking. The main motivating factors are extreme poverty, unemployment, and competition with other families whose loved ones left and are sending money home. We are trying our best to track down these agents who are involved in the recent incidents in Libya and Italy. Some smiling, all hopeful. This mobile phone video was taken before the migrants boarded the smuggler's sailboat that sank on Sunday. They're asked if they voluntarily accept the risks. More will be saving to pay the smuggler's fees and follow, focusing only on the lucky migrants who survived. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera.